So there seem to be a lot of people out there doubting whether the young kids, females, can achieve the technique that we like to teach. Have a look at the boy on the left, young Harry, who's 10 years old, and then we've got Josh Kelly, a professional footballer. Both achieving the same style of kick where they lift the ball to the chest. They both get the ball near a horizontal plane, balance arm pops off, and then they get some nice contact on the ball. Okay, So why can't we teach young kids, female athletes, young male athletes this kicking style? Because here we go, here is some evidence where we have an elite AFL player, a 10-year-old, both lifting the ball, okay? And we have some coaches that discourage this because they think that it affects the ball drop. So we can pause it there, okay? Both players are lifting the ball to the chest, all right? There's young Harry, there's the ball, there's Josh Carey, Josh Kelly, there's the ball. Both balls are near a horizontal plane, okay? So if you want to look at the angle, okay, young Harry, here we go, young Harry's is probably on this angle, and Josh's is on a very similar angle when you look at that. Might, Josh's might be a little bit more horizontal, but it's very close. The reason we like to teach the lift is because when you lift it to your chest, the balance arm, which is here and here, watch it just pop off, okay, so from here, you will watch both these athletes. The balance arm is going to just come off nice and easy. All right, so let's go. Boom, 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 boom. And they've both got very similar balance arms. Okay, and you look here, both balance arms are out. They've both got nice long guide arms. Okay, there's their balance arms. Their eyes are on the football. Okay, eyes on the footy, eyes on the footy. And they're starting to prepare to kick. So here we have the um, balance leg, and then we have the backswing of the leg, which is preparing to kick here. Okay, so both athletes are starting to prepare to kick. So from this point, you can see that probably the, the one thing that Josh does a little bit better, or well, they're both very similar, okay, is Josh has lost contact. So this is Josh over here. Okay, he's lost contact of the ball, and most of it's under his waist, and young Harry... Okay, is most of it under his waist as well. So he could just, um, being 10 years old, okay, he will control that a little bit further as his hands get a little bit bigger and he gets a little bit older. But when you look at the final contact, okay, both players are in a pretty good position. Harry is slightly leaning back a little bit more, okay, but that is just due to him being younger. Once he strengthens up that core, he will be in the same situation as what. Josh Kelly is slightly more upright, okay? So you can see the difference in angles there. But that's just maturing and getting that core going. Um, and then we've got nice follow-through, all right? So main points, lifting the ball, and this is so impressive that a 10-year-old can do it. Small hands, doesn't matter. From here, both athletes, okay, can effectively push the ball down onto their boot and minimise the distance for their ball drop. Anyone can do it, males, females, young kids, as long as they're taught right, as long as they put in the hours and hours of practice. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, if you can please hit the subscribe button. Also watch a couple of videos linked in here, and you can put those alerts on so you know when our new videos drop. Thanks for watching.